Let's take a few moments to look at this Dell operator a little more carefully. The Dell operator is defined as the partial with respect to X, and we have an I hat here, plus a partial with respect to Y, and a J hat, plus a partial with respect to Z, and there's this K hat there. You say, wait a minute, take the derivative of, of I hat, that's zero. That's zero. These are constants, these unit vectors. Like, wouldn't that be zero? Well, that's not what we mean by this. We mean that this has to operate on something. You need to have something go over here to the right. And let's start with the gradient. The gradient is obtained when you apply the del operator to a scalar field. So what you do then is put that del right here, del with these phi, which means your gradient, take your gradient of your phi function, and that means come on in, take the derivative with respect to x, and put the i hat down, multiplying it, and then add to that the derivative with respect to y, and have the j hat there, plus the derivative with respect to z and the k hat. You have made here a vector. So if you have a temperature function at all points in space, and say that it's actually a function. So you have like some function of x, y, and z that, that you can operate on with taking derivatives. Then you would be taking the derivative with respect to x, that partial, and say that's in the i hat direction at a positive value here. And then maybe this is negative and this is negative. You have three vectors that you can form this sum vector, and that's a little arrow. And that's telling you in what direction the temperature is increasing. So now you have a weather map that you can have with, well, temperatures and color coded. That's nice. But you have another map where you have little vectors that show you in the direction that they're increasing at each point. And you can also make the vectors a little bit longer or shorter, depending on how much it's doing that. So have some fun taking gradients of these scalar functions here. And the next is the divergence. Now, the divergence is a dot product idea, so it works on a vector. And here you have the vector operator, dot it with A, and using the similar rules we saw earlier, I dot I is 1. That means the partial of AX with respect to X times 1. I dot J is 0, so we don't even worry about that. And I dot the K is 0, we don't worry about that. Here you have J dot I, 0, and J dot J, so you're going to have the partial of AY with respect to Y, and then finally the partial of AZ with respect to Z. That's neat. That is a scalar function. Uh, this is not a vector. So remember when you have two vectors with a dot product, you get a scalar. Try some here with these vector fields. We also can have the curl. The curl is to use the cross product definition with the operator. And we can use our determinant to set this up. We have the components of the operator, the del operator here. And these will work on the A components. So if we have i hat, we take the partial of AZ with respect to Y and then subtract it with the partial of a y with respect to z. Now this is understood that you do it in that order. You don't take a y times this operator. No, the operator has to work on this. And you get that. And that's consistent with our flipping the y and the z and putting a minus sign. We saw that earlier. So two ways of, of looking at that. So try some curls. And then we have the Laplacian as the last one here. And the Laplacian is taking the divergence of a gradient. Well, we did the gradient already. There it is. And there's your divergence. I will hit the I, give you a 1. So that'll be your second derivative with respect to X. Then you'll have a second derivative with respect to Y. And you add these as you're doing the dot product rule. And this is defined as del squared. Look at this neat result, which is consistent with this, the second derivatives. Del squared, del dot del. Now this is operator, an operator dot product. It's going to give you an operator. So you have the two operators here, which are identical, del dot del. And then when i dot i hat gives you a 1, what do you have? The second derivative with respect to x, and then the second derivative with respect to y, and the second derivative with respect to z. Very, very neat result, and that's called the Laplacian, and that is extremely important as a are the others in physics and engineering.